Hello, cake friends. Today, I want to talk to you about having a strategy in your cake business. Now, one of the most important things that we overlook as small business owners is actually formalizing our businesses. Formalizing our businesses means things like having a business plan, having a marketing plan, and just being strategic overall about your business. Hi, cake friend, and welcome to the Home Baker's Hive YouTube channel, a place where bakers get together to learn how to run a profitable baking business. Like, comment, and subscribe and let's grow together business why it's important to be strategic about your business and not just randomly follow some tactics and you know random tips and tricks that you can do or you can get to get to the next level is that you actually are a business owner and because you're a business owner you want real results and some of the real results that you want are things like profit getting paid um you know getting paid from your baking business right and having that profit that you need so what's important for you as a business owner to remember is that you cannot hit those sales and profit goals or you cannot even get paid from your baking business if you don't take your business seriously from the onset so it's really 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 important that you take your baking business a really seriously seriously. And one of the ways to take your business seriously is to really sit down and plan. What are your goals for the year? What are your goals for the quarter? What are your goals for the month and for the week? Do you have sales goals in place? How are you going to get those sales goals? Sometimes as cake makers, we really want to randomly sit down and say, I'm not getting clients. I'm not getting cake orders. But are you strategic enough about your cake orders? Are you strategic enough about the type of clients you want to work with? Are you strategic enough to say that this is what I want to do? This is what I want to do. One example that I can take is that Sometimes we randomly want to sit and say that we don't get cake order, enough cake orders without truly examining ourselves and saying, how many cake orders can I actually take per week? How many cakes can I actually do per day? How many cakes can I actually do per month, right? And if you have income goals, you want to ask yourself questions like, how much do I really want to get paid from my baking business this month? And then you can work back and say, how many cake orders can I take per week? And how many cake orders can I take per day? And how am I going to make those sales? So those are some of the questions that you need to ask yourself. In my Cake Biz Sales Bootcamp course, it's basically, basically a virtual experience where I coach my cake business clients how to hit their income goals. And one of the things that we do is do quarterly planning. We do weekly and monthly planning. And I tell them ex the exact, you know, you know, the exact marketing activities that they can do in, in their cake business so that they can hit their income goals. Also, one of the things I give them is a cake business strategy. Now, if I'm talking about a cake business strategy, it shouldn't be this fancy little book that you have to follow to the T to get results. You too can get your own cake business strategy and it does not have to be fancy. As I said, just work out your income goal, jot it down, work out how much you want to earn that month or that quarter and work back right? And see how exactly it is that you're going to hit that goal. And it all has to be in writing because, you know, statistics has, have shown that if you put something down in writing, then you have a greater chance of actually achieving that and have someone to hold you accountable. And that is exactly what I do in the Cake Biz Sales Bootcamp. I hold my students accountable over the four to six weeks that this bootcamp takes place. As I mentioned, it's a virtual experience. If you'd like to be on the wait list for the Cake Biz Sales Bootcamp, because I only open it a few times a year, it is such an intimate session because I do dig deep with my students. I try to understand their background. I try to understand their personality. I do assessments and tests and I try to see the type of town they're in. And I mean, this to me, it's my zone of genius. It's what I do as part of my nine to five. I'm a strategist. I'm, I have an MBA in business management. I train a small and medium business enterprises to scale. So to me, that really comes naturally. It's something I really enjoy doing. And because I'm a cake business owner myself, I really enjoy working with cake makers so if you'd like to go on the wait list for the cake based sales bootcamp for the next round that we open just go to the link in the description 
and um, sign up for the waitlist so that you can be one of the first to be considered when I open doors. Because as I said, I work from uh, with anything from five to about 20 students over four, um, four to six weeks so that I can really deep dive in, in their cake business and see what it is that they need and how I can support them in a very tight knit group and community. I have a private, um, you know, sort of like a private group and I also have a group session like I do one-to-ones and I also do group sessions so if this is something that you want you have a, you need a close eye um, from someone that's been there or from someone that has the experience in strategy then you definitely want to go on the wait list I really encourage you to just take a pen and a paper jot down your goals, your weekly, your monthly, your quarterly goals, and then see what type of marketing activities can you run and what type of, you know, sales activities are going to come. What are your sales goals? What would be your income goals for that week, that month, that quarter? And then take it from there. I hope this tip was helpful. If it was, please do like this video and do subscribe to our channel. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, that is, if you're watching on Instagram, share this with someone that you know is going to um, use this content. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.